Chancellor Rishi Sunak and Health Secretary Sajid Javid have resigned from Boris Johnson's government. It comes just moments after the Prime Minister was forced to admit that he did know about a formal complaint against Chris Pincher, following days of denials from Number 10. Uh, about two and a half years ago, I got this uh, complaint. Uh, it, was, it was something that uh, was only raised with me very cursorily, but I wish okay. uh, that we had, uh, I in particular, had acted on it and uh, that he had not uh, continued in government. Because he then okay. went on, I'm afraid, to behave as far as we can see, according to the allegations that we have, very, very badly. Good, good evening. I'm just going to go and spend some time with my family. Thank you for coming. Javid was first to resign, saying voters no longer believe the government is popular or competent. In a scathing letter, he added, it is clear the situation will not change under your leadership, and therefore you have lost my confidence too. Minutes later, Sunak followed suit. He said the government should be conducted properly, competently and seriously, and that these standards are worth fighting for. He also explained that he and the Prime Minister have fundamental differences when it comes to the economy. Last week, Pincher resigned and was subsequently suspended as a Conservative MP after allegedly groping two men at a London private members club. These weren't the first claims made against him, although this didn't stop Boris Johnson from bringing him back into government. Downing Street and a succession of ministers repeatedly denied that the Prime Minister was aware of the allegations. But their story started to crumble when former top civil servant Simon MacDonald wrote to the Parliamentary Standards Commissioner and insisted Johnson was briefed about the investigation in person. The problem with Boris Johnson is he lacks any integrity, hence why he took it out of the uh, report into the Ministerial Code. He doesn't believe in honesty, he doesn't believe in integrity, he doesn't believe in the Nolan principles that prop up public office. But I'm glad that some of the Cabinet are realising that. The rest of them should do the right thing and resign as well. I can announce that the Parliamentary Party does have confidence. Yeah. Yeah. These shocking resignations have thrown Johnson's government into a new crisis only a month after he survived a no-confidence vote. His alleged lies had already given ammunition to those in the 1922 committee who were campaigning to change the rules and force through another no-confidence vote. And it is claimed that Sunak and Javid's resignations were not coordinated, making them even more damaging for the Prime Minister. I'll get that little piece of dandruff off.